Hey guys, so it is now time for my June favorite. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start off with what i am um, been using for my face lately. Um, as you know, I tend to be more oily and acne prone. So along with some of the other products that I've mentioned in the past, I've also been incorporating this into my daily regimen. This is the Equate Blackhead Clearing Scrub. So this is just basically the same thing as Clean and Clears, I believe has a blackhead scrub. So this is the exact same thing, exfoliates it. This is just Walmart's brand. So like I said, you know, check Walmart, check Target. They always tend to have their own brand of products similar or even the exact same, same product as some of these name brands and you save anywhere from 50 cents to a dollar. We went to Costco and I was looking for some face wipes and I was um, the makeup cleansing towelettes, the ones that are already pre-moistened. And I found these, these are Kirkland brand. These are basically daily facial wipes. These are good for taking off your makeup. My skin tends to be along with the acne prone or the oil it, it tends to be sensitive also so um i tend to break out easily and like little bumps and stuff like this and this stuff i've been using for the last couple months and i haven't had any like breakouts as far as bumps or hives or you know just my skin hasn't reacted to it so i really like it they're pre-moistened it takes off you know makeup it takes off dirt and stuff and, I, and then i i also wash with a face wash. Something that I picked up at my nine, my local 99 cent store. I always carry these in my bag. And one of two reasons, <laughs> either I'm around kids who are dirty and they need their hands wiped. Also, just to stay fresh, stay clean, um, especially like during that time of the month, you know, where you just wanna feel extra clean. Um, I picked these up. The brand is called Coralite. Like I said, they're from 99 cent store and they're feminine wipes. So it's gently formulated. Um, it comes in a package of 40 wipes and basically it's hydrated with, uh, vitamin E and aloe, aloe. So it's not going to give you like any burning sensation or anything down there in the, you know, those special parts but also if you're you know you're with a kid that has a dirty hand or if you're someplace where you can't wash your hands you know and you have these little wipes that you can use so it's kind of like you know the baby wipes or or the sanitizing wipes although I don't know if this sanitizes but I mean it's gonna get a lot cleaner than if you were stranded and didn't have anything to wipe your hands with so it basically just has water um, witch hazel in it uh, a bunch of other ingredients that I cannot read but they are alcohol free so it's not going to burn you so yeah it's you know just like a little feminine white just to kind of keep you extra clean and fresh especially during these hot days another thing i'm incorporating since i've told you that um i kind of tend to slack on my daily regimen when i'm getting ready if i'm going to skip something it's usually putting lotion on my legs because monday through friday i wear scrubs to work and um so i know that's bad especially with summer you know you want to rock the shorts and the skirts and stuff my legs tend to be on the extra dry side so i'm paying for it now what have i been doing you know like when you go and get your pedicure done and usually they either use um, some kind of oil a massage oil when they're doing your 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 pedis and they give you a nice massage on your feet well i've been incorporating this this is actually a sweet almond oil it's nature's renaissance cuticle treatment like I said, it's um, a mix, mixture of sesame oil, vitamin E, mineral oil, rice, bran oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil. All these oils basically that you can use to massage into your cuticles. But not only am I using it on my cuticles, I'm using it on the cuticles of my hands, cuticles of my feet, but I'm mixing it in when I'm putting lotion on my legs. So like I put that lotion on my legs and then I just put a strip of this oil down my leg and I'm like massaging it and also just kind of like to give that extra hydrated feel. This came with a product of, I want to say like a manicure set. So and I know you can get a cuticle oil treatment at Sally's or something like that, but this is just the one I've been using. So that's just been one of my favorites. In one of my beauty hauls, I 
mention to you guys a fragrance that I picked up from Bath and Body Works. This is from the Signature Collection. It's the Wild Apple Daffodil and I've just been using this like crazy. Another thing that has been a favorite and it's been in my every day is the Three Minute Miracle from Aussie. This is just basically a deep conditioner. I had some color treatment done to my hair and so obviously you know like I was black before so I had to do a little bit of stripping on my ends because some of my ends were um, we're not taking in. Originally we had tried to just lighten without a non-peroxide, but it wasn't, it didn't get to the level that I had to, so that I wanted, that I desired. So went back in and we just kind of did a, a little strip uh, um, a couple weeks later. And let me tell you, like my ends are definitely dry, obviously. So I've been using this three minute miracle. I kind of like what it says in the back. I'll read this to you, it says, uh, directions work into clean ha wet hair use the next two minutes and 45 seconds to think deep thoughts about your day which i think is kind of cute you know it's just telling you like okay it only takes three minutes so it's only going to take you 15 seconds to get it in the rest of the two minutes and 45 seconds just enjoy another thing that's been a lifesaver for me um i found these last month and i've been using them the opportunities that i can I know this product is a Dr. Scholl's product. I don't have the container that I actually, um, that they came in, but I wanna say it's kind of, it's kind of like a, a toe cover. So, it's basically you slip your, your little foot in it, you know, and it's gonna cover your toes. So that way when you put on a high heel or you put on a boot, maybe you might have something that the, the some shoes that tend to be a little bit smaller up at the, foot uh, up at the toe part and this is just going to protect because it has a thick seam right here it's going to protect from smashing your toe or bending your toe or whatnot or toenail so because i've been having some issues as far as um one of my toenails on one of my foot just keeps breaking and like splitting splitting right in the corner and one of the girls that does my pedicure she's like well she it, it kind of similar to a runner's toe but i'm like Girl, I don't run. <laughs> be honest with you, I'm not a runner. Okay, and she goes, well, what about high heels? And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm guilty, you know? So she's like, that's what it could be from. So um, I found these at Walmart, and I believe it's Dr. Scholl's. This color is obviously a nude color, and I don't know if it comes in other colors, but check Walmart, and they should have them. So for all those ladies that are having issues with their, you know, toenails, maybe breaking or being pushed or hurting you know you're gonna have that extra protection right up at the tip so. now makeup products i have three makeup products that i'm going to share with you if anybody follows, follows me on instagram you guys know that i posted a picture of one of my pretty much hands down all-time favorite lipsticks that i have and believe it or not it's in possibly everybody's budget so it is by rimmel and it is number 070 airy fairy so this is just basically your basic pink nude color. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. A lasting finish lipstick collection. And this is what it looks like. Very mauve nude, not too nude, mauve pink color, but with a hint of nude in it. I just think it goes with anything, you know? If you wanna do a nice smoky eye, yet you don't wanna do a a really nude nude like I have issues kind of with Lady Gaga's nude version I think it's the Lady Gaga 2 and even my Revlon's nude that I have nude attitude I just think they wash me out too much and I have to put a gloss over it even if it's like a light pink gloss or something over it it's just so that I don't look like whoa um, but this I think you can get away with as far as with the a smoky eye or whatnot. I have my next favorite, which is the Bonnie Bell Lip Lights. So if you guys seen my last beauty haul video, I picked this up from Walmart. And I still haven't tried the other one that I got, but this one is in Strawberry Parfait. So Bonnie Bell Lip Lights in Strawberry Parfait. And it smells delicious. It smells like strawberries. And I like it also because it's just like a light pink um, color so it just balances out a lot of those really whoa shades that you might have and my last makeup product is a wet and wild product it's an eyeshadow it's the color icon collection and there's three of them and i got it in shade 334 which is i'm getting sunburned this is just personally one of my favorites that i've been using a lot this month the colors that are in it are just really pretty your brow bone your crease and your lid shade so that's actually what i have on today 
like I said, I've been using it a lot. I believe I got this at Rite Aid when they were having their 40% off. That was my monthly favorites. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram at I Love My Curves. And I will be having a couple series of different videos coming up along with my monthly favorites and outfits of the day and my hauls. I posted picture comment, I guess I should say, where I, I got the idea to film a monthly frugal finds. But the plan is, is just to put a video out for frugal finds just for all those ladies out there because I know there are a lot of single moms, a lot of college students, or a lot of just students who are, or people who are just, you know, making it day to day. I'm just gonna throw some frugal finds out there, whether it be fashion, makeup, jewelry, whatever. It'll just be frugal for you guys. So don't forget to take a look at that or check check that out. Um, what else? And oh yeah. Don't forget to follow over to Style 7. So I hope you guys liked this video. Thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget, love your style, love your curves, love your body. I love mine.